Hello everybody and welcome back to the History of Goju Ryu. I'm the Goju Ryu philosopher and today we'll be looking into the founder of the Shorei Kan, the lineage of Goju Ryu that was eventually passed down to me through my first dojo. This episode will be on Toguchi Seikichi, a student of both Miyagi and Higa senseis. Toguchi sensei contributed greatly to Goju Ryu's popularity and curriculum, expanding his teaching to American GIs and creating Kihon Katas and Kumite sets to better introduce concepts to beginner students, including those who spoke a different language than his own. Let's get into it. Toguchi Seikichi was born on the 20th of May, 1917, in Naha. His father instructed him in martial arts from a young age until he was a teenager, at which point he began studying with Higa Seiko sensei. After some time studying with Higa sensei, he was introduced to Miyagi Chojun sensei and became his student as well. Toguchi would study with both of these masters throughout the rest of his life. His family seems to have been friends of Miyagi senseis, and he personally struck up a lifelong friendship with Higa Seiko. However, like many Okinawan young men, Toguchi was drafted to serve in the military during the Second World War, and was stationed in Sumatra, Indonesia, where he served as an electrical engineer. During this time, he continued his practice of kata on his own since he was unable to study with either of his teachers. Toguchi was briefly captured as a POW, delaying his return from the war until 1946. Along with other martial artists, he devoted a significant amount of time to rebuilding the island of Okinawa in the aftermath of the destructive battles fought there. It was during this time that he invited Higa Seiko to live with him. Higa Seiko helped set Toguchi up with his future wife, and in 1949, Toguchi and Higa would build a dojo in Itoman, which Higa sensei headed. Toguchi assisted with instruction at the Itoman Dojo, and resumed his training with Miyagi-sensei. Toguchi-sensei characterizes this period of teaching, later in both his and his sensei's life, as being primarily focused on the theory of goju Ryu, as well as theory that Miyagi had learned from Itosu Anko, the Shurite pioneer whose famous student Funakoshi Gichin had founded the Shotokan. According to Toguchi, these conversations would cover hours of theoretical discussion and instruction in pedagogy, the science of teaching, and would often last until late at night. This period was also when Toguchi learned the Kaisai no Genni, a set of theoretical principles used to interpret and understand the techniques trained in kata. These principles function as a guideline for understanding the significance in the moves of a kata, and can be applied in deciphering the two-person fighting scenario from which the solo kata was supposedly derived. Several of these principles echo advice given by other masters, such as Mabuni Kenwa and Funakoshi Gichin, especially the rule that the stepping pattern, or embusen, of the kata is designed to be able to perform the kata in a small dojo and shouldn't be given too much importance in application. When Miyagi Chojun sensei passed away, he had created two kihon kata, or basic forms, known as Gekisai Daichi and Gekisai Daini. Toguchi was among the students of Miyagi sensei who would form the Karate do Goju Ryu Association, serving as a vice chair with Yagi Meitoku chairing. Shortly after Miyagi's death, Toguchi would open his own dojo, the Shodei Kan, in 1954. The Shodei Kan was located near to an American Air Force base, and as a result, many airmen came to study with Toguchi. This was the impetus for Toguchi to expand the roster of kata, especially Kihon kata, to account for the difficulty in teaching foreign students with whom he couldn't directly communicate. Toguchi created two Fukyu kata, meaning promulgation kata, which were designed to teach the most basic techniques of karate in a short, easy-to-memorize form. These kata bear the same name as a set of kata devised by Miyagi-sensei and Matsubayashi Shorinryu founder Nagamine Shoshin, but the versions practiced by the Shorei Kan are simpler forms that serve as basic calisthenics exercises and introductions to Goju Ryu. These were also developed with an eye towards karate's future inclusion in the Olympic Games. Toguchi also developed a third Gekisai kata, and two more sets of two kata each, named Gekiha and Kakuha, which each serve to simplify techniques that are explored in more detail in the core Goju Ryu kata. Toguchi also created Hakutsuru, a kata whose name means white crane, which is a synthesis of other goju ryu kata. Along with these kihon kata, Toguchi also created a series of yakusoku bunkai and yakusoku kumite exercises, which were simple, prescribed partner drills. His kiso kumite, or foundational sparring sets, were short, partnered exercises that echo the process by which kata are developed. These additions to the goju ryu curriculum proved easy to demonstrate and to teach to American GIs, whose knowledge of Japanese was likely insufficient to understand complicated explanations of techniques. By teaching these kata, Toguchi was able to reach a much wider and international audience than many of his contemporaries, and the Shorei Kan organization spread across Japan and North America. Whether by sending representatives or visiting personally, Toguchi sensei established Shorei Kan dojos in America, Canada, Puerto Rico, and Europe, making his lineage one of the most successful in promoting Goju Ryu to the world. Eventually, Toguchi sensei passed away on the 31st of August, 1998. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. And make sure to watch the rest of the History of Goju Ryu series if you haven't already. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and while you're down there, leave a comment telling me which member of the Goju Ryu community you'd like to see me cover. If you'd like to see the rest of the history of Goju Ryu as it comes out, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification icon so you can be notified when new videos are released. Usually I release new videos weekly on Saturday, and I hope to keep to that schedule as much as possible. I've been the Goju Ryu Philosopher, and let's go promulgate some kata.